I'd really like to talk as a separate topic about ESG. So I know that that's really important to you. And as a firm, and we've recently appointed a chief sustainability officer yeah. uh, in Diane Ashelman. There's not many firms that have made the decision to put an ESG executive on the board, mm -hmm. especially firms of our size. Yeah. And we're very fortunate to have Diane. She's uh, hugely passionate about the subject and she's performed this role at uh, some of the world's largest financial institutions. So we've obviously signed up to lots of initiatives. There's a lot of working groups in the firm, which I strongly encourage people to participate in. And we are working with a outside party called EcoVardis. So they're benchmarking and scoring individual firms as how they're responding and basically looking to see that what you're doing is real and that you're, it's not lip service. And our clients are beginning to have an interest in this as our investors. So all stakeholders are at the table. We want to respond to our stakeholders, but actually just as individuals. I think I personally incredibly concerned about what I'm seeing in the world with our environment. So these are really important matters for me. And I think it's important that we really respond in a very significant way. And you've talked previously, Joe, about how our business model, creating mutualised services for banks, actually helps them on their ESG journey. If firms act proprietary and have very sophisticated and extensive uh, complex infrastructures that they run themselves, that if you think about many, many banks running those infrastructures, that's a lot of energy consumption. And actually providing a shared infrastructure that's being it may be designed with uh, economy of energy in mind, that, that has an incredible impact. So actually, we're like a kind of green highway for banking.